Hello, everybody. Jim Powers once again here with our weekly coach show on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. And joining us is our cross country coach, Mickey Kaufman. And let me say a very happy cross country coach. Great weekend. Home meet down at Six Flags. Men do a phenomenal job. Women do a phenomenal job. Talk a little bit about the weekend and just how well our cross-country team performed. Yeah, it was absolutely outstanding. Uh, the race was twice as big as it was the year before, uh, roundabout, uh, about twice as big. And we still came out on top with both the men and the women. Uh, so we were really excited about that. And I pushed them a little bit last week in practice, too. So we were just a little bit fatigued going into those races, too, not completely fresh. Um, the men were uh, one point shy of a perfect score uh, that we had last year, so they scored 16 points. And the uh, women didn't make it quite as close uh, with that second place team as they did last year, too. So comparative to last year, we did outstanding. And I think with the men's team, it all is going to start and stop, I think, with Kyle Deacon's performance. What a great weekend for him. Yeah, senior year, home meet win, new course, uh, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, it was like 26-18 for his time, so that's a pretty solid performance from him. Um, number two guy was Andy Moore, sophomore for us, and Anthony Allen, and he said he was a little fatigued. He was our number three that day. Uh, and then I think fourth place was uh, alumni Zach Boyle, who uh, just graduated last year. So on the men's side, yeah, Kyle Deacon just had an outstanding race, uh, ran the uh, perfect race for him to to go out there and win that cor or win that race and win that course. And uh, he had some competition there early on, but uh, you know he was never in trouble. It didn't look like you know and, and for the men's team last week we talked a little bit about getting that number 10 regional ranking this has just got to be a springboard because there was some pretty big pretty good competition at the meet on Saturday yeah there's a lot of strong individuals like we talked about last yeah. week probably no teams that might have been up there uh, quite as close to us but certainly some individuals so anytime you're scoring that little amount of points um, you know it's outstanding uh, and same thing with the women and Elizabeth Kiblinger just continues to come around as well run uh, faster than last week Emily Malk ran uh, about the same time and I'll tell you what freshman Katie Holmes had an outstanding race uh, almost 50 seconds faster than than what she ran at the Memphis Twilight you know, talk about the women's side of things. Obviously, a great weekend for them. And it kind of seems like they're starting to round, you know, round themselves into, you know, the form you want them to be as we come up on the end of September. Yeah, every one of my freshman girls uh, ran faster, uh, faster pace, whether they ran that 4K at Principia or that 5K at Memphis uh, two weeks ago. Right. Um, so I was really happy with, with all of what they did. And our returners, you know, just kept plugging away and doing what they do uh, very, very well. So I was really impressed with my freshmen last week, really bouncing back after some of them had really struggled in that first race. All right, so what's on the docket for the team this week other than trying to get their legs back and a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of recouping? Yeah, well, we have uh, another race on Friday, so we're not we're not uh, taking it easy yet. Um, but this will be a pretty easy training week for us, really trying to get ready for that race on Friday. We were a little beat up after last weekend, and uh, you know Sunday's run, everybody's a little cranky, a little sore. Uh, but uh, this week we're going to rest them up a little bit and hopefully have an outstanding performance again on Friday at Augustana. Well, I don't think it was that cranky with two victories. So Mickey, we'll talk to you next week. Good luck this weekend at Augustana. Yeah, thank you. Mickey Mickey Kaufman joins us. A great weekend for the Saints cross country teams as they continue to perform very, very well and at a very high level in Division II here in the Midwest. We'll have more with Coach next week as we talk about the meet over the weekend. Also, you can follow all the results on our Twitter feed at Maryville Saints. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for joining us here on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.